Can I have some water, please? Spiritus Sanctus, Amen. Four days? An offering for the Virgin. Stand up, the four of you. So, what excuse have you this time? None, Father. It was our fault only. Well, good girl, Manika. The truth is always better than false excuses. Now sit down, and the rest of you back to work. Father Panika? Anyone here? Father. You honour us with your visit? As I do every year, Father Panika. Same day, same time of arrival. I'm sorry. I was decorating the church. We have a few surprises prepared for you. Did you have a good trip? Father Provincial. Father Daniel. <laughs> Champa. <laughs> by gracing us with your presence. We are grateful that you favor us in this manner. How absolutely charming. Who is this little girl who speaks English so perfectly? It's Manaka, Manaka Kalatea. Congratulations, Father Daniel. Very good, my child. I'm afraid I don't know where she learned that. Modesty is often a form of vanity, dear father. My boys have done some remarkable drawings as well. Well, the dispensary is well tended to, as always. I'm pleased with your work. 
And are you happy here, Father Daniel? Yes, I am. But there are one or two things I'd like to see changed. <laughs> the young always want change. Well, perhaps we can discuss them further. But change is not always desirable, Father. You will understand that when you've lived here a little longer. Monica! Monica, come on. Manica, why did you greet the Father Provincial like that? I don't know. Well, who taught you those words? I don't remember. Well, off you go now, Manica. Sing now, my baby. The Ganeshima. The Ganeshima? What's that? Where the Himalayas touch the sky. Do you learn these things in school? What am I to do with you, Manika? Stop dreaming now. Come along. There's work to be done. cities we talked about yesterday? Madras. Madras. Any others? Delhi. Delhi. Calcutta. Calcutta. Bombay. Bombay. Now today we're going to talk about the holy cities of Berenazi, sometimes known as Benares, Rishikesh and Hadwa. Yes, Manika? There's another one. Tulikot. How do you know that? I lived there once. <laughs> Quiet. Sit down, Manika. Now, Rishikesh sits up here above Delhi. Manika, making up stories is all right in its own way, but you I'm must... not a liar. They called me a liar. Manika. You sit in class daydreaming half the time, and whatever thoughts come into that head of yours just pop out. Sit down, Manika. I'll have to talk to Father Panaker if you go on in this way. Tulikot is in Nepal. I wouldn't know about that. I haven't heard of the place until today. And how do you know I'm not telling the truth? My name was Lakshmi.
Father, otherwise there will be trouble. What's the problem? We do not want their mackerel. We only sell to the Americans and the Japanese now, and they only buy shrimp. But the mackerel must be worth something. Business is business. Mm -hmm. They will find it out. You tell them, Father. They must pay us the money they owe us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello! The church will get no dues this month. Well, that's not why I'm here. Why do you owe the soul holders money? The problem is the trawlers. Of course, it's the trawlers. They take all the shrimps. Then we shall have to do something about them. We? What does a foreign priest know about such things? We are poor people here. When I was a child, we lived in a city slum. And poverty and hardship are the same everywhere. If you can't afford to give to the church, then the church will understand. Forgive me, Father. My rage is not with you. Well, your anger will achieve nothing. Now, what you must do is to get up a petition for the authorities, and everyone in all the villages must sign it. How can we do that? We are at sea from the first light until dusk. Well, I'm not. In my country, in the old days, storytellers would come to the village and tell of their travels. Is it possible Manika heard such a person here? No. Then she's a mystery. She told me there was a town in Nepal called Dulicat. I looked it up. She was right. Where does she learn such things? It's beyond my understanding, Father. Well, be sure and tell the others about the petition. Yes, yes, Father. Don't cry, Manika. Your father is only angry with you because he doesn't understand what is happening to you. Neither do I. I can't help it. I'm sorry. You're my lovely little girl. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. Go to sleep, darling. There is nothing to worry about. Those things that she talked about in school must come from her imagination. Ece agnus dei, qui toli peccatam mundi. Corpus Domini nostri, Iesu Christu custodiat, animam tuam invitam, et enam amen. Domini nostri. Corpus Christi. 
Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. Did you come to do the accounts? Yes. Well, every Sunday, I feel ashamed with the rich sitting there in comfort, the poor on the knees, and the untouchables out there roasting in the sun. Father Daniel, no one has been able to put an end to the problems of caste. Oh, you young European priests, you come out here with newfangled ideas. Newfangled ideas! These young priests, they think they know everything. Newfangled ideas. Father De Nobili, Jesuit priest, living in poverty, preaching in the Indian fashion, 1610. To break with tradition is always a great risk. All men are equal in the house of God. We are a sum short in the offerings. That'll be the fishermen. Well, they can't give what they don't have. Have you told them they need not make their offering? I told them God would not take food from the mouths of hungry children. You have exceeded your authority, Father Daniel. What do you think Father Provincial will have to say? You have made me very angry, very angry indeed. For goodness sake, man, can't you say it's wet? This way, girl. So, what about that secret? You won't tell my father, will you? No. Last night, I saw our house again. I saw the Bhagmati River, the Dulikot temples, and the Himalayas in the distance. I saw a very handsome man. He held my hand. His name was Ranjit. Ranjit Sharma. Was this in a dream? Yes, Ranjit was my husband. We loved each other very much. When I was dying, I asked him to swear he would wait for me. It was a solemn oath. We Catholics have only one life. And when we die, our souls leave our bodies to be reunited on the Day of Judgment, and not until then. Be calm, child. I'm not a child. Ranjit Sharma is in Dulikot. I have to go and see him. Papa is so angry with me. And I'm not lying. I'm not. Pray with me, child. We we'll pray that you may find peace of mind. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Intercede with your son.
Kathinna, Tinna, Katha, Kathinna, Tinna, Katha, Kathinna. That's a nice surprise. When did you teach her that? I didn't tell her. Well, what is it? Tata, Tay, Tata, Tay, Tata, Tay, Tata, Tay, Tata, Tay. It looks like the Katha. It's a dance from the north. Dulicot, Father Augustine, Saint Cecilia's orphanage. Dear Father Augustine, my name is Father Daniel Mahoney of the Kundu Mission. A parishioner of mine is attempting to trace a distant relative who may be living in Dulicat. The family name is Sharma. The man's first name would be Ranjit. Mama Kalatin. Mm-hmm. Kattari Guru Nansi, Appi Dhu Adarayat, Ekka Gini Indi Kiwa. Oh, Mama Dhanna. Eh. Lame Adi Thra Yanda Bulluwa. Ma, Ekka Gini. Ekka Gini. कहते मैं तुम्हारे बुरे स्वप्नों को निकाल लूंगा
What do you want, Manika? What is it, baby? Nothing. Hurry up now. You'll be late for school. letter for you. Oh. Dear Father Mahoney, there are many Sharmas in Dulikas. It is a common enough name. There is indeed a Ranjit Sharma who is a well-known circuit judge. My parents are in the bus going north. Well, they are all going north. The one going the furthest? The last one on the left. If the fishermen sat next to the wholesalers in church, do you think that would induce the wholesalers to buy mackerel? They are not in church to buy and sell fish. Why have you sent for me, Father? What have I done wrong? Father, you have been in this country for less than a year. And yet, you presume to challenge customs and practices that have sustained this society for many thousands of years. It is not your mission to tamper with such customs. What is my mission? Your tone borders on the insolent, Father. In these matters, you will take instructions from me. Your role here is to guide the children under your care, not join their fathers in political activity. Their parents are my responsibility, too. The collecting of signatures for a petition is not your responsibility. Are you a communist, Father? During 15 years of instruction, we were taught to ignore politics, yet preach social justice. Well, the way those fishermen are treated by the wholesalers is immoral. Please sit down. My son, for the past 15 years, you have lived in the protected world of seminaries and study halls. And now you face the world as it is. But we Catholics here are a minority. Of course there is injustice, but our primary concern is not this world, but the world to come. You will have nothing further to do with this activity. Yes, come in. The father from Kathmandu and Mr. Patel have arrived, father. Have you got their files? Yes, sir. Father, the school term will be over soon. I suggest you go on a retreat to examine your soul and your earthly motives. Do you suggest a long or a short retreat? You are the best judge of that. I will see Mr. Patel first. What are you doing here? I have a special mission. Father Provincial apologizes. He may see you in ten minutes. I'll just go downstairs for a moment. 
You've been on the carpet, old friend. A difference of opinion. I know that look of yours only too well. Can you come over to Kundu? No, I must catch the night train. You're an important man now. I've had another promotion. He'll be the general in Rome one day, and that's a fact. <laughs> so what trouble are you in now? That man up there belongs in the Dark Ages. And as usual, you want to kick him into the 21st century. Not as bad as that. You worse. Well, I simply can't agree. How many times have I heard that? In France, you drove our professor crazy for three years by your endless I simply cannot agree. Well, I damn well can't agree with a church that divides its congregation into first, second and third class citizens. That's the country, not our church. Then our church should show the way. Father Rini? Yes. Come in. Good luck, Danny. It's not serious trouble, is it, Danny? It's a storm in a teacup. I'm glad I'm not your father, provincial. Go back home, Kalatil. Could you please speak with Father Daniel as soon as he comes back? Don't worry. Manika could not have gone too far. You'll see, she'll be back tonight. Spiritus Sanctus. Now we shall say a short prayer for the Calatiel family and for their daughter Manica, who has been missing from us for two weeks. May through the love of Jesus they be soon reunited.
haven't even left yet, child. Excuse me, madam. You, police station. Hey! Hey! But the train was moving. We just chained the platform. Salami. Salami, I'll give you a lock up there. Take it into every lane. Thank God, the child is safe. We'll make a special offering to his holy mother. That's very good. But tell me, when did Manaka start having her dreams? When she was a small girl. But then they stopped. We didn't tell anybody about it, Father. We were frightened. Well, don't worry. I'll bring her back. Well, they seem very relieved. You will take the morning train? Yes, thank you for allowing me to go. Oh, Kalatil would never manage such a trip. You'll be back Friday for closing the school. Yes. But tell me, Father, what do you think is the explanation for her behavior? Oh, oh you will find that someone at some time or another has told the child stories about the North. Perhaps even your predecessor. You're probably right. We'll take a half hour break and have a sandwich, and then we get the first train back. I don't want to go. Well, we're going, girl, and that's that. If you take me back, I'll run away again. Monica, you've already caused your parents enough distress. They don't understand. They will never understand. When I was sent here to take you back home, and that's what I intend to do. If I do not go to Tulikot, I will never know if Ranjit is waiting for me. Oh, this whole idea is preposterous. In the end, you will have to take me. I know you will. Excuse me, Father. It is not really my business. But to a Hindu, the idea of reincarnation is far from preposterous. And this little girl is a Catholic. Why to go to your country and call your customs and beliefs? Preposterous. I would consider myself a very rude man, indeed. Well, I hope you like train rides. Will Mama and Papa be very angry with me? No, they'll be overjoyed when they see you. But I think first you must see for yourself that you're not Lakshmi. Am I going to Dulikat? Yes. Come now, Manika. I was told to go on a retreat, and perhaps God means this to be my journey. Let's send a telegram to Father Panika. I saw, I saw. You cheat again, you cheat again. <laughs> I'm winning anyway, beating you hollow. Look, Father Daniel. Look. You look so serious with your glasses. I'm getting old. <laughs>
Shanta Ganesha Ma. Do you believe me now? I don't know. Is any of this familiar? Well, come on, I've got Sharma's address. Because Father Augustine told me about your visit, I've done some research among the Sharma families of the area. Being a judge, the task was easier. But aren't you rented Sharma? Yes, I am. But I have never married. I consider this whole thing to be a great shame. Monica Kalati, tell us why you believe you are the reincarnation of Lakshmi Sharma. I don't know. I don't know. You're not Ranjit. This isn't my house. There yeah, you see. All you need is a little authority to weed out imposters. The girl did not dare continue with her lie in my presence. I'll not have you call Manaka a liar. Her parents are obviously after money. Her parents are poor fishing people 2,000 miles from here. All the Sharmas are Brahmins. Lakshmi Sharma would have led a truly evil life to be reborn a Christian. It's impossible regression, unthinkable. What you say is shameful. I'm proud to be a Christian. You are white and European. But the soul which you have soiled is Hindu. Soiled? How dare you use that word? Her caste have been Christian for centuries. Catholicism is not their original religion. It was your missionaries who evangelized these fishermen through terror or corruption. Sir, your theory is ridiculous. This little girl is pure and intelligent. It should have been an honor to have had her as a member of your family. Such ignorance, bigotry, and intolerance. Especially when the opportunity is there to be otherwise. I'm sorry. I shouldn't lose my temper with you, should I? Come on. benevolent God. He protects the Hindus from evil. Whenever mankind is threatened, he comes down to earth. Once he came down disguised as a fish to warn the world of the great flood. And after that, mankind was reborn. Like in the Bible? Oh, yes. He's praying to his God just as we pray to ours, and probably for love, truth, and salvation. But he can't get to heaven like we can. Come on, let's get you some warm clothes.
safe, wasn't there? Please, sir, can I help you? Uh, no, thank you. We're just looking. This was our shop. Some things are different, but I know it. Perhaps we can make this little lady a pretty dress. Is this shop owned by Mr. Sharma? Oh, no, not at all. Mr. Prakash Singh is the owner. Might I talk with him? He's not here, but we could make a dress overnight. Um, he will be here in attendance tomorrow, and you can speak to him then. The safe used to be there. And that shelf. I don't want to stay here. Oh, the sisters will look after you. You know, I wasn't lying about the store. It was in jeans. Well, I'm going back there tomorrow. But first, I have to see my friend Father Rene in St. Xavier's College in Kathmandu. It's all nearby. If only I had my bicycle. And then I'll come back here for you, girl, okay? Okay. Now, best not tell the sisters why we're here. And give me the postcard for your parents. Found anything? It's amazing. There are cases like Manikas all over. Brazil, Lebanon, Alaska. I read some of them, but nothing is proven. They even tried to prove that Mozart was the kiss of reincarnation. Well, such music at the age of five. You remember Teilhard de Chardin's books? Yes, of course. When Rome ordered them burnt, we hid them and kept reading them. Progress in the service of faith. Look at these students. They don't come here to hear about their old beliefs. They expect us to give them science, to open up the modern world for them. Well, that doesn't mean we should stop them exploring their own spiritual traditions. A man named Sharma sold me this store about five years ago, but it was not Ranjit. He is Gopal Sharma. He is a managing director in textile mill in Kathmandu. Sir, th this safe, has it always been there? I mean, was it there when you bought the shop? Hmm. Let me think. It used to be on that small shelf, but there was not enough room to keep receive books beside it. So I move it here. You still can't explain the safe. I don't have to. Well, how could she know? You're knocking back this French wine like it was beer. There is no rational explanation. I have one more bottle, which has to last me till Christmas, when my parents will send me another case. In our terms, reincarnation is not possible. For your own peace of mind, leave it alone. For my own peace of mind, I must pursue it. It's all conjecture. Will you soil your purity by drinking some more? La Francie. To confess that another belief is valid does not invalidate ours. Of course it does. If Christ is the Son of God and the source of our truth, we cannot give equality to Shiva. I don't need you, Adpa. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Pat. You're right, my friend. It should be savoured. You know, I was always a little flattered that you were my friend. And a little afraid. But now it's you who's afraid of me. Or at least you're afraid that I might embarrass you. You more than me need an absolute church, an absolute set of rules. Manaka's parents are frightened because they don't understand. But you're frightened because you do understand. If the Hindu belief in reincarnation is substantiated, then your version of absolute truth is threatened. And where will you be, Daniel? Ranjit is my cousin. He lives in Chandu. I bought the store in Dulikot from him. 
If you wish to speak with him, it's very easy. We'll call him in uh, Chandu. Let's hope we don't have to wait three hours. Put me on to Ranjit Sharma, please. Was his wife's name Lakshmi? Yes. Was she delightful? Ah, it's getting better. Almost as good as New York. Hello? Ranjit? Look, I have a Catholic priest in my office, and he needs to see you about some family matters. My cousin will be in Kathmandu tomorrow for a convention at Hotel Shankar. He'd be pleased to meet you for lunch tomorrow. He'll send a car for you. Where will you be around noon? Well, I'll be waiting in front of St. Saviour's College. Yes. You're not Ranjit Sharma. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I'm a few years older and wiser. You see, Ranjit sent me to get you. We work together. Actually, I'm his uncle and his banker. So, what is it you want exactly? Is it money you're after? Beg your pardon. Oh, where did you get this ridiculous reincarnation story? Well, who hmm? says it's ridiculous? How much? How much do you want to take this child and leave us in peace? What are your terms? It's Ranjit Sharma I'm to talk to, not his accountant. I'll get you, you dirty foreigner. I'll get you. I'll get you. No, thank you. What's your name, please? I'm Daniel Mahoney. Oh, Father Daniel, how do you do? I wish you had joined us for lunch. Yes, I'm sorry I was late. Is it possible for us to talk alone? Okay. Go, go. Buy the great books, yes. Please sit down. Thank you. What can I do for you? Mr. Sharma. You are a Hindu of a Brahmin caste. Yes, but... Uh... Then you believe in reincarnation, then? Yes, of course. Well, I've come to talk to you about that and not about money. I'm sorry about that. My uncle must have tried to protect the family, you know. Well, let's forget that, shall we? Now, the little girl I talked to you about yesterday, Manaka, uh -huh. she firmly believes that in her previous life, she was your wife, Lakshmi. My wife, Lakshmi. She confided in me. She told me about your life together in Dulicot. When you live in a three-story red brick house with a courtyard? Yes. And your sister's name is Manu? Yes, but, but you know, she would have gathered this information from somebody. Her home is a little fishing village on the Indian Ocean. I don't see how she could have. Is there a birthmark behind your ear? There's another question, more personal. She told me that on your wife's deathbed, you made a vow. Now, could anyone else have known of such a vow?
Well, Manika, you'll show us the way. That's easy, Father. First is to cross it to the bars. This way, I know a shortcut. You know, Father, I must have made a mistake. I didn't live in Dulika. It's here. In Chandu, I feel at home. And how did you know about Dulikas? Father Daniel, Lakshmi always liked coming with me to the shop in Dulikot, away from home. This is Father Daniel. And your Manu. Don't worry, Mother. I won't bring bad luck to this house. Let's go upstairs. Mother, please. It's a very fine lunch. Thank you. So, are you happy? I don't know. Well, Ranjit and Mrs. Sharma would like you to stay for a few days. Would you like that? Yes. If there are any problems, just ask and they'll take you to the orphanage. And I'll stop there before I come back here. I'm frightened of being Lakshmi. Well, it's a difficult thing to come to terms with. And I'd rather not lose sight of Manika altogether. Because of my parents? Well, we have to give them a lot of thought. But also, Manika's become my best girl. Thank you. Well, I'll be about a week. I'm going to an ashram on the way to the Long Tom. Father, I'm grateful to you for what you've done. I'll tell you the truth. I'm not at all sure what it is I have done.
yourself, Mrs. Sharma. Please take very good care of Manika. She's a special little girl. She will be safe in this house, Father. All right. I'm glad you're staying. I'll see you in the evening. Okay? I'll put her near our room. Warm up is good. Come along now. Who's that? Grandfather. Why is he hiding? He's getting more and more religious. He's afraid to meet you. I'll open the shutters. No, please. This must be the dresser. And this is the table in the middle of the room. Everything's the same. Is that your baby, Mother? No. It's Ranjit's son, my grandson. He's one year old. Ranjit married again. Tell me, if my understanding is correct, then according to the law of karma, a person's life is dependent on the good or evil they do in their previous lives. Yes, exactly. Otherwise, how do we explain that a child is born deaf, dumb, or blind? Well, then I was told that if Manika is the reincarnation of Lakshmi, then Lakshmi must have led a truly evil life to have been reborn in a lower caste. Castes are made by humans, not by God. That's very liberal of you. Father, I swear, Lakshmi lived a blameless life. It still surprises me how you and your family accept Manaka so easily. Well, everybody's not convinced. My grandfather, my wife. Is that why they didn't eat with us? Yes. Lakshmi and I loved each other very much. And my wife knows about it. I don't think she's taken it very well. And I wish you'd told me that before. Perhaps I should go back. He was handsome, wasn't he? He still is handsome. There you are together. This was at the reception. In a tent filled with flowers. My head was spinning with the scent of jasmine. There were many strangers to be introduced. Do you remember your honeymoon? We went that same night to Kashmir, and we spent our honeymoon on the houseboat. Did I have a family? Only your father. I don't remember him at all. Do you remember the ceremony? I remember when Ranjit lifted my veil, and we looked at each other. You only remember moments of happiness with Ranjit. Perhaps you should visit your father. He's very old now. If Ranjit says so. I'm coming with you. No, Uncle. I'll deal with this on my own. But... I'll telephone you later. So... They're so beautiful. Thank you very much. Stop avoiding her. Come and join us. Ranjit has accepted that she's Lakshmi. That's absurd. It is part of her belief and therefore not absurd. Am I to share my husband with a ten-year-old child? If that is Ranjit's wish. She will bring bad luck to my baby. I would like to speak to you. I do not believe you are Lakshmi. You are a Catholic child from the South. All the rest is nonsense.
I'm happy you came back. I was waiting for you. No, you didn't wait for me. You made an oath and you broke it. What do you call that? Perjury. A man who doesn't hold to an oath is guilty of perjury. I looked for you so long. I should have given up. But I was so sure I'd find you again. And now... How could I be sure that you'll come back? I'm still young. Please try to understand. Did your mother arrange this marriage, like ours? Did the two families get together? No. She had nothing to do with it. As a matter of fact, she didn't like it. Shant is Kshatriya, not a Brahmin. Her father is a general. How did you meet her? In the palace, at a reception. She was beautiful. She thought you were handsome. Look, I... We decided to get married quickly. I... I wanted children. I could live all my life with memories. Ten years isn't so long. Tell me. Were you really in love with me? Chanti. No, not more. You're lying. Yes. I was 15 years old when we were married, wasn't I? Well, you were almost 16. In five years, I'll be 15 again. I could love another man like I loved you? Of course you could. But it'll be different. I mean, uh, same as well. It can't be the same. Another man won't be you. Coming to bed? Not yet. Do you think such a thing is possible? Do you really believe that child is Lakshmi? Yes, I do. I don't. It frightens me. How can you be frightened when you don't believe? <laughs> I'm trying to examine it logically. From Bath, we are fed with these superstitions and fairy tales. Shanti, this is not superstition. It is belief. I refuse to believe it. You will accept it in time. No. Your first wife is dead. If you persist with this notion, you will lose me also. Rene, I have witnessed a case of reincarnation. You're mad. You're absolutely stuck raving mad. There's no such phenomena. How can I deny the evidence of my own eyes and ears? I saw them together. I saw the child give proof. Enough. Quiet. I'm getting seriously worried about you, Daniel. Have we the right to refute the Hindu belief in rebirth? It is not gospel. 
on the day of judgment, one soul will be reunited with one body. A succession of rebirths in different forms is excluded. Our existence is the story of love between God and one unique, irreplaceable person. This is our word and our truth. Is the child downstairs? No. Where is she? With the Sharma family. Dear God. Have you no conception of what you've done? She is being well cared for. Our mission is to save souls, not put them at risk. She's not at risk. If she comes to believe this nonsense, what will that soul be? Catholic or Hindu? Does it matter? Yes, Father Daniel, it matters. Your sin will be that through your stupid obsession you will have lost that Catholic soul for all eternity. I will not accept your exclusive right to the truth. Then... Then you're no longer a priest. I'm just not your kind of a priest, my friend. You're no kind of a priest. And you're no longer my friend. Do you know my faith? You deny me. Take the child home to her true parents. I will do what I believe is right. Forgive me, Father. I must follow my own road, for I believe it is your road also. My faith is not in doubt, but I am convinced that our religion should not be absolute. Help me, Father, with your blessing to find the true way for me to serve you, for all men. I'm starting the car. you Lakshmi so the bracelet belongs to you take it your father will be too happy to see you wearing it when did you give it to her she had it before I met her I don't remember soon we'll be there
I'm frightened. There's no reason to be. I don't know this house. Hello? Yes, Cousin Maya. Yes, the day after tomorrow. But Monica won't come with me. It upsets her. Please don't insist. See you on Tuesday. So now the miracle is fed up of being presented to the whole town. It's normal that people want to see her. <laughs> yes. And I am the only one to find it strange that she could not remember her own father. Monica has been accepted by this family as Lakshmi. Then why does your mother pray every morning at Lakshmi's shrine? Why can't you accept her? You have been praying at the shrine also. A woman who dies in childbirth always tries to come back and make trouble for the family. You know that as well as I do. No, I don't. This child means us no harm. We are blessed and honored by Lakshmi's return. And as my wife, it is your duty to accept her. I thought you were a modern man. But I see tradition is still with us. And I'm proud of our traditions. Please. Don't. We were happy, Ranjit and I. Why did you have to come back? Father Daniel Mahoney. Oh, good morning, good morning.
Meditation is most important. We also gather three times a day to read the holy books, the Bible and the Upanishads. You make no distinction between them. We come together in faith, through respect for our differences. And because we know that God is within every one of us. So peaceful, so calm. In the valleys, all the sanctuaries are full of tourists. You're not at peace, Father. No, sister. And your problems are greater than any mortal man has had to face. Is my doubt such a vanity? Oh, no. It's a blessing. You must admit that faith is the overcoming of doubt. But first, we will teach you to laugh a little. Hmm? She won't listen to me. She's stubborn. She's a chetri. Ranjit needs the baby. Don't worry. The baby will come back, with or without her. She shouldn't be so jealous. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and life was the light of men, and the light was shining. peace to know and serve the Lord. Amen. Who would valiant be against all disaster? Let him in constancy follow the master. What your friend René thinks is not in contradiction with Hinduism. A chain of death and rebirth is a great burden for the Hindu because it keeps him from his ultimate goal, which is to be one with divine love. Some radish and it will be enough. Each link in the chain is simply a step towards perfection. Hindus and Catholics, we both are striving for God's grace. Yet religion creates such bitterness and division. You're thinking of your friend? And my father provincial's anger with me for trying to help the fishermen. Very often, people use religion for their political aims. You must face that, Danya. You're not only a priest, you're also a functionary of the Holy Roman Empire. That's precisely what I'm refusing to be. Then do not expect your superiors to be pleased with you. 
Why did you become a priest? Well, when I was 12 years old, I read the memoirs of the 17th century Jesuits. And to a poor boy in a Dublin slum, becoming a missionary seemed an adventurous and a glorious thing to do. And now? I know I can neither teach the children or their parents that we have an exclusive right to the truth. What will you do? One of the fishermen asked me, what does a European priest understand about our problems? Well, I will work as they work, eat as they eat, live as they live, and pray as they pray, and then maybe I will begin to understand. As a priest? If they will allow me. So you're going to leave us? I'm afraid I'm not cut out to be a monk. You know yourself a little more now? I know that I am an imperfect Catholic priest, but a priest nonetheless. I will begin with the fisherman. That was done a long time ago. I never said I was original. Hindu's ashes are always scattered in the river so that the soul rests in peace. And when Lakshmi died? Well, your ashes were immersed right there. are very poor. We have very little. But we're happy. Why are you speaking of them now? The bananas and the monkeys. Mama used to give me a banana every day. Mm -hmm. Father Daniel said Mama cried all the time after I left. You will visit them time to time. Shanti refused to celebrate the Banyan Tree Festival. Isn't it a wife's duty on this day to bring God's protection to her husband? Yes, you're right. Oh, I've got a very bad headache. I want you to be with me always, but it's not possible. I know. Shanti must come back with the baby. No. Not because of that. I love you always. I want you to continue with your studies also. I found out a way for you to do that. And for us to see each other. It's a nice boarding school in Kathmandu. With good teachers. Nice rooms, a pool. You can always see me in your holidays. How many years will that be? Well, you yourself said that you'll get married at 15 or 16. Hello? Yes. I can't hear you. What are you saying? Really? You beat her 6464? Four, six, four? That's wonderful. See you on Monday. Goodbye. You're waiting for Shanti to go? I would have liked some news about my son.
<laughs> That's my old Monica. Yes. And where's Lakshmi? She's here also. But she's not so important now. Because you know. Yes. Can we go home now? <laughs> yes, of course. Don't you want to have a last look? I want to play cards. But no cheating, Father Daniel. No cheating. <laughs> Tell them what you feel, they'll understand. I mean, how can we explain everything? 